Good morning, good afternoon or evening church, whatever time of day is that you're locking in. Welcome um, to another devotion. My name is Olu, part of the North location, and it is my pleasure to be taking you through today's devotion. Uh, we're looking at relationships, especially relationships in church or building relationships in church. And I would love or I'm going to read for you from the book of Luke chapter 19, starting from verse 1. <clears throat> and it reads, Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. I'm going to stop there. There's some really good lessons that Jesus shows uh, or examples that Jesus shows here that I think we can relate or apply to building relationships in church. And I want to run through those really quick, quickly with you in the hope that they bless you as they have blessed me too. Number one, Jesus was intentional. Zacchaeus was in a tree. Jesus got to the point where Zacchaeus was looked up and says, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. I liken this passage to what goes on in church on a Sunday where there is a crowd and there's the hustle and the bustle and people are coming and going and <clears throat> you have those conversations for two minutes, five minutes, never enough to really sort of, you know, kind of really connect as, as much as you want and you'll always end it with these kind of last words, oh we should connect or we should meet up um, and that can go on for ages. But Jesus right here with Zacchaeus was intentional and said today, I'm coming to your house. And I think we have to do something similar. Not necessarily say I'm coming to your house today, but at least agree with one another. Say, let's get a date in the diary where you and I are going to connect. There's nothing like a date in both our diaries to ensure that that is definitely going to happen. So number one, Jesus was intentional. Number two, Jesus had made room for these connections. He said to Zacchaeus, I'm coming to your house today. That tells me that Jesus, in his very busy schedule, his itinerary of going around, preaching and teaching, he had made room to sit down and fellowship with people. As intentional as we may want to be, and as you know, good intents go, um, we may look at our diaries and just never really find the space and time to make some of those connections. Well, Jesus had made room um, and had a space in his diary, his itinerary, to actually be able to sit down and connect. And I think we have to do the same thing. We as a family have started this thing where on a Saturday mornings, we make pancakes and invite people over uh, just to connect and just to kind of hear their stories, see what God is doing in their lives, and we share ours too. And it's been brilliant to hear different people, different walks of life, just what God is doing. Make space so that these connections can happen. So number one, be intentional. Number two, make room or make space so that those things can happen. Number three, Jesus was unassuming. Jesus was a rabbi, Zacchaeus a tax collector. Now, if you read back and get some context, tax collectors weren't viewed very highly. In fact, they were considered, you know, sinners. And you, you read in the book of Mark chapter two, I think it is, where someone was praying and saying, thank you that I don't associate with sinners and tax collectors. So Jesus really sitting down with a tax collector was kind of unfounded. But he didn't take his role as a rabbi or as the king of kings, the lord of lords, God. He didn't take any of those so highly that he could not sit down and meet with anyone. He was unassuming. Now, um, for us, I think the application is this, is that for a moment when we're in church, we've kind of got to forget our own titles, forget our own backgrounds and take the opportunity to connect with people that are outside of our ordinary day-to-day -day network, whether that's people that are in different professions, different walks of life, different cultures, whatever it may be. Church may be one of the only places where so many of us come together from so many different backgrounds. Let's be unassuming like Jesus and actually sometimes deliberately reach out to people that we wouldn't ordinarily connect with. So three things, and I hope they bless you. Number one, Jesus was intentional. Number two, Jesus made room. Number three, he was unassuming. And I think these are three things that we can kind of apply to our own lives so that we can start to build healthy relationships in church. And moreover, we'll begin to see what God will do as we begin to connect with one another and see how God can work through me, through you, to do his will 
in all of us. And I pray that as you do this, God bless you and your relationships will become fruitful in Jesus' name.